I met him, I uh, met him on Robben Island in 1967. I got permission from the then Minister of Justice and Prisons, who was the mild little man called Pete Peltzer, much different from his successors who were much more difficult. But I got permission from Pete Peltzer by saying, look here, there are terrible stories in the newspapers here and abroad about the treatment that the Robben Island prisoners are get, getting. He said, it's all a lot of nonsense. I said, well, if you say so, nobody believes you. But if I go there and say so, they will believe me if, if it's true that there are no bad conditions. If there are bad conditions, I will say that as well. So he said, all right, go. So I went. And it was really quite remarkable, this tour. I walked in, there it was no, they were in what was known as the single cell section. Each one of these important prisoners had a cell to himself with a corridor in between. They could steer across to the other cell. And as I walked in, the first prisoner, whom I happened to know, a coloured man called Eddie Daniel, said to me, don't waste your time with us. Go to the end, you'll find our leader, Mr Mandela. So I went down and there was this tall, imposing looking man standing at the door, his, the cell door, put his hand through and said, I'm very pleased to meet you. And I said, no, I'm very glad to have met you. And I said, tell me about conditions here. And although the chief warder was standing right next to us, Nelson Mandela had no hesitation in reeling off all the complaints they had, which are, of course, as I say, bad physical conditions, not enough and bad food, not enough visits, not enough letters, and so on. And when I got back, I reported all this.